The U.S. and China have slapped import taxes each other in an escalating trade war. Despite a brief respite in May following a visit to Washington by Vice Premier Liu He, the top economic advisor to Communist Party General Secretary Xi Jinping, tax increases continue to be implemented. The latest of these exchanges was in September, with the U.S. announcing a 10% tariff on $200 billion, £153 billion pounds worth of Chinese goods, which would increase to 25% by the end of 2018. The U.S. simultaneously threatened to add tariffs to a further $267 billion, £205 billion, pounds, if China retaliated, which it did with 10% tariffs on $60 billion, £46 billion, pounds of U.S. imports on September 18th. As this back and forth between the two countries continues, what implications will this have should an agreement fail to materialize? Speaking to Express.co.uk, Tony Hughes, CEO at global skills development company, Huffweight International, said, the trade war between the United States and China has escalated once again with both sides announcing their biggest waves of punitive tariffs yet, the two superpowers have imposed export rates on more than $360 billion of manufactured and goods and commodities and analysts are predicting the battle is far from over, the clash between the world's top two economies is already Hurting businesses on both sides of the Pacific in the latest U.S. move means roughly half of the products that China sells to the U.S. each year will be hit by American tariffs. Donald Trump and Xi Jinping are at war over trade. Image, Getty, American multinational investment bank and financial services company Morgan Stanley has said a full-blown escalation of the trade dispute could decrease global gross domestic product by 0.81 percentage points. Car manufacturers have also been affected, with Ford and General Motors lowering profit forecasts for 2018, blaming higher steel and aluminium prices imposed by the new U.S. tariffs. Mr. Hughes said, global trade growth could have by 2020 should the U.S. and China fail to agree a deal to halt the increase in import tariffs. The U.S. has implemented a 10% tariff on $200 billion, £153 billion pounds, of Chinese imports. China has retaliated with tariffs on $60 billion, £46 billion pounds, of goods starting later this month. Why is the U.S. president being condemned by fellow Republicans? Despite Xi Jinping visiting the U.S., the trade war has continued. Image, Getty, U.S. tariffs on Chinese goods could increase to 25% should the two countries fail to agree a deal before 2019. Euler Hermes predicts that global trade growth could decelerate from roughly 4% why, why to 2% why, why by 2020 in this trade feud scenario. The average U.S. import tariff now stands at 5.2%, the highest level since the 1980s and compares to an average of 3.5% before the latest tariffs were imposed. Tim Focas, director of financial services at political think tank Parliament Street, told Express.co.uk Despite markets appearing stable right now, uncertainty is creeping into the global market. U.S.-China trade war latest What has happened in Donald Trump's trade war so far? Donald Trump's administration continues to implement tariff hikes. Image, Getty, Mr. Focus said, So far, markets appear to be holding up to Trump's trade tariffs on China. This probably more down the fact that many investors would have already priced in the tariffs. No country is safe from Trump, while the president has yet to officially slap tariffs on the likes of Germany. His protectionist rhetoric alone has created uncertainty across the German economy and more broadly across European financial markets. Until counter tariffs are enforced on the U.S., it is too early to say who the winners and losers will be. History tells us that protectionist policies from one country has a negative effect on everyone involved.